Prolotherapy has been around for over 70 years and has been used to treat a variety of chronic musculoskeletal conditions. So do prolotherapy trigger point injections help treat myofascial pain syndrome? Two recent clinical trials attempted to answer this question. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. Myofascial pain syndrome and trigger points are incredibly difficult to treat. That's why I recommend taking a multimodal approach, including a combination of using heat, exercise therapy, including both cardio and resistance training, stretches, and soft tissue modalities, including acupressure therapy with a foam roller or a massage ball. But for people who have persistent pain, I recommend being even more aggressive with trigger point injections. I'm going to review two recent studies that argue adding dextrose solution to the trigger point injection can significantly improve outcomes. The thought process is that dextrose injections lead to local inflammation in the tissue that mimics a tissue injury. This stimulates the body's normal healing mechanism that leads to tissue repair and tissue remodeling and can result in both short-term and long-term pain relief for patients with chronic musculoskeletal pain. This first study was a retrospective case series of 45 patients with myofascial pain syndrome refractory to alternate treatments. The authors performed targeted ultrasound-guided dextrose injections to treat chronic musculoskeletal symptoms that have persisted for more than one month. They injected 10 cc's of 15% dextrose solution into the muscle fascicles and the paramyzium between them. Injection sites included all major body locations, including the upper extremities, the lower extremities, as well as axial muscles. The authors reported that the mean pre-treatment visual analog pain score was a 7 out of 10 in the study group. At one month's follow up, the mean post-treatment score was a 2.4 out of 10. 11 of the 45 patients had reported complete resolution of their pain. Only 3 of the 45 patients reported no response or even worsening symptoms. This suggests that 93% of patients had noted improvement after dextrose prolotherapy trigger point injection. Very importantly, no adverse reactions or complications were reported following this intervention. The authors go on to conclude that targeted ultrasound-guided dextrose injection was remarkably effective for refractory localized myofascial pain syndrome. Injections significantly reduced symptom intensities in the majority of treated patients within one month after a single injection. This second study was a retrospective study of 57 patients with chronic posterior shoulder myofascial pain. All subjects had pain for at least three months and a visual analog pain score of at least four out of 10. They all had trigger points in either the infraspinatus muscle and or the teres minor muscle. All patients had pain despite oral pain medications as well as physical therapy. The clinicians performed ultrasound guided dextrose injections using 10 cc of 15% dextrose solution and administered the solution into the targeted paramyzium of the muscles. The authors report that the mean pre-treatment visual analog pain score was a 7.2 out of 10. The mean post-treatment visual analog scores at four weeks after injection were 1.9 out of 10. 19 participants were completely pain-free, while only six subjects did not notice any pain relief after treatment. This suggests that 91% of patients had noted improvement after dextrose prolotherapy trigger point injection. Only one of the 57 patients required a second injection. Just like the other study, no complications such as infection, allergic reaction, or bleeding were noted in any of the participants. The authors go on to conclude that ultrasound-guided dextrose solution injection is an easy, safe, and effective injection method to manage posterior myofascial shoulder pain. Okay, now before I go over my thoughts on these studies, if you're finding this information useful so far, please click the like button so it can spread to more people and help them too. Thanks for doing that. So the thought process behind using prolotherapy injection is that dextrose can stimulate local inflammatory mediators and release growth factors. This can then facilitate tissue remodeling and subsequent symptom relief. This approach to treatment makes sense given our current understanding of the energy crisis hypothesis as the cause behind myofascial trigger points. In brief, a trigger point causes decrease in blood flow to the muscle. This results in an alteration to the biochemistry inside the muscle. This chemical imbalance leads to more contracture of the muscle, leading to even more muscle tightening and muscle spasms. 
tightening and spasm of the muscle then leads to even more restriction to blood flow, and round and round we go through the trigger point pain cycle. So dextrose prolotherapy injections can potentially help address the muscle chemistry imbalance as well as terminating muscle fiber contractures. Dextrose stimulates a local inflammatory response that stimulates tissue healing and muscle remodeling. By injecting this into the trigger points, we are potentially breaking the energy crisis cascade that leads to chronic pain. So in theory, this procedure makes sense, but what we really need are more clinical trials, ideally randomized controlled trials, to examine whether these treatments can truly help. In addition, both of these studies only reported outcomes at four weeks. Now this one month improvement can be truly life changing for people suffering from chronic pain, but what I'd like to see more are long-term outcomes as well. At the end of the day, this is definitely a promising treatment for myofascial pain and trigger points, and the great thing about it is that dextrose is very cheap and safe to use. It's definitely something you'll want to discuss with your healthcare provider about using if you are suffering from trigger points. And if you're interested in learning more about how to treat myofascial pain and trigger points, check out this video next, or check out this deep dive video to learn how I approach trigger point treatment. Thanks for watching.